Grade 4 math, number 65. Write fractions as sums. Alright, we're going to talk about unit fractions. A unit fraction tells us the part of the whole that one piece represents. One eighth is equal to one part of eight. One, third, one fifth is one part of five. It always has a numerator of one. See that? It always has a numerator of one, unit fraction, okay? So, if you remember, a new, the numerator is the top and the denominator is the bottom. And if we discuss multiples, that is the answer in a multiplication problem. A multiples, the multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24. They're multiple sixes, see? Very easy to remember that a multiple is a multiple amount of that thing, okay? And then the factors are what you multiply together to get the multiple, all right? Okay, so we're going to see what Emma's up to. Emma baked a Yule log cake. She cut it into eight equal pieces and ate one. So let's say she ate this end piece, okay? She had seven-eighths of the cake left. She put each remaining piece on dessert plates. How many plates did she use? What fraction of the Yule log cake went on each plate? Well, each piece of the cake was one-eighth of the whole thing. Each piece was a unit fraction. So if we did one-eighth seven times, one-eighth plus one-eighth plus one-eighth, and again and again and again and again, and we added these all up, we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eighths. We'd have seven eighths. So seven plates were used, and she put one eighth of the cake on each plate. Does that make sense to you? Now let's take a look at these circles. Here's the answer circle, and here's the addition circles, okay? We've got the circle split into eight parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we took one eighth, just one piece, and added it to four pieces, four eighths, we would have five eighths. One eighth plus four eighths equals five eighths. See? If we took two eighths, one two, and added it to three eighths, one two three, we would have five of the eighths. See? Like over here. Just slide this over. All right? So 5 eighths is equal to 2 eighths plus 3 eighths. Because we're adding the same thing, the same size pieces, the same portions, the, the denominators are the same. When the fractions have common denominators, you add the numerators and slide the denominators across because we're adding the same portions. We're adding the same sizes, okay? 1 plus 4 is 5 and slide the denominator 8 over. 2 plus 3 is 5, slide the denominator over, see? All right, so let's look at this. If we wanted to write some fractions as sums of unit fractions, how would we do it? Well, remember, a unit fraction always has one as a numerator. So two-thirds would be one-third plus one-third. These are the unit fractions. It's got a one as a numerator, all right? Five-sixths would be a one-sixth five times. One, two, three, four, five. See? And they all have the same numerator because they're all the same size portion. Three-fourths would be one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth. See? So, I have a bonus for you. Let's see if you can figure this one out. Which one of these is equal to eleven-twelfths? Do you know? Can you tell which one is equal to eleven-twelfths? I'm going to give you a few moments. Let's look at A. We've got one-twelfth plus three-twelfths plus six-twelfths. Well, what we do is we add the numerator and slide the denominator over, remember? So 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 6. Well, that's 10 twelfths, okay? Let's fill that in. That's 10 twelfths. So that's not the right one. How about this one? 5 twelfths plus 4 twelfths plus 1 twelfth plus 1 twelfth. We're going to slide the denominator over because they're all the same. Pardon my 2 looking like a Z. And 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 1 is 10, plus 1 is 11. Look at that. There it is. So if you said B, you were right. What is C equal? We're going to slide the denominator over because they're all the same. Okay? Let's try to get that to look more like a 2. 2 plus 2 is 4, 
plus 1 is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that one equaled 9. So the correct answer was B. That's the one that equaled 11 twelfths. See? So, remember that a unit fraction always has 1 as a numerator. It represents part of a whole and how many parts it was split into. 1 eighth is 1 part of 8. Remember that when you're adding similar de like denominators, common denominators, you just slide the denominator across past the equal sign and add the numerators, okay? And we're going to continue talking about fractions, so I'll see you in the next video. Keep up the good work. Keep plugging. I believe in you. You can do this. I'll see you next video. Bye.